aren't you the cutest thing in the world? It takes all episode, guys, but in today's Arc Aberration video, we find and tame a bulb dog, aka the glow pug. And the color and the highest level I can find. Gonna be a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Arc Aberration Episode 1. I, of course, am UTC, and I'm finally here. I was hesitant to start to get here to call a video episode one. Why? Because episode ones are important. They're always important. And to mark the occasion, I'm going to ask that you prove this to be important. I'm going to ask for something rare. 10 times in the history of my channel, a video has gotten a thousand likes. Let's see if we can make this one of them. And you're gonna do it before 10,000 views. Is that crazy? I don't know, this is assertive UTC, and I ain't backing down on it. So what do you get in exchange for a thousand likes? You will get something you have been asking for for a long time. You will also get some confessions and some promises along the way. So guys, let's dive into the video. I don't know if you're used to it, but there was no ad to start the video, thanks to G Portal servers. Shout out to those guys, they create this server here for the Gaming Evolved crew. And that is where we are starting Aberration. This is the series. We will be playing in one place. What are you going to get? You're going to get a survival series. I have been playing this game for years and I have learned to cut corners. When I was a full-time waiter and trying to be a YouTuber, I learned to cut corners. That means creative building, hence admin building. I haven't built anything big in survival in a very long time and my Patreon server. You know how easy it is to build in survival? When you have people whose only goal is to get you materials and supplies, it's easy. I have not done anything hard in a long time and my excuse was always time, that excuse is gone. Thanks to you guys who watch this channel and thanks to the people who have my back over on Patreon, I am a full-time YouTube creator. And here on the Gaming Evolved server episode 1, this Aberration DLC, there is so much to see, so much to do, and we are going to do it together every day, coming back to the server and making videos here. So I need to get somewhere. I need to find my compatriots, the fellow uh, survivors here on the Gaming Evolved server. You may know some of them. If you watch some of them, hit me up in the comments, let me know who, and check out the other guys in the description, of course. And they are uh, north of us on the map. They are towards Fertile Lake, Fertile Lake 2. I need to focus, guys. I have not played in a long time. I need to collect materials. I need to gather, uh, create tools, right? That's how this game is played. I have to get back to basics, and I need to do that off camera because I can't do both. So I'm going to work my way out to Fertile Lake 2. I'm going to try and find those guys, and I will be back in your life. There's an old tradition. It says that when you start a new character on a new arc, you need to start naked and you need to run across the map to wherever you want to start. So instead of beginning at a sensible place like Fertile Lake 2, when I know our destination is in Fertile Lake 2, I have stubbornly continued to spawn here at Portal. And I think I am making my way in the right direction, but we are about to be desperate for water. And uh, I am going to show you this adventure because this is my experience playing Aberration. From what I have been told, from what other people have said, it's extremely difficult. It's extremely challenging, and water is a big-time issue. So if I'm going to die 15 times, I may as well have an episode at the end of it. I can't cut all of those out. So guys, where are we? Where have we come to? I'm wondering if we could drop down into some water. Is that going to be a fool's move? I believe I need to follow that river downstream. It doesn't look like the deepest of rivers, though. How deep does a river need to be to save a man's life? Well, I haven't got much yet, guys, so we're going to make this exciting. I'm sure the beat is about to drop in a song, because here we go. It deep enough. It is deep enough. Oh, sick. That is sick. I have motivation not to die, guys. I'm going to be playing here every day, and I'm going to be playing the actual game. If I want to show you something, we're going to do it legit. And that means getting legit to the home base, to the community center area. Uh, that motivation for me is so that we got something more interesting to do in tomorrow's video, tomorrow's episode. I can't just do the death run twice in a row. 
Yeah, I'm barely fast enough to outrun this raptor, good lord, guys. It's scary. And what am I gonna run into along the way? Good lord, dude, get lost! Get lost. Trees? Trees gonna save my butt? Okay, let's pick a path. Let's look behind us. No, okay! Oh my god. I'll be spawning at Fertile Lake 2 in just a second. I'm fast though. I am fast enough. I just need prey. I need a trap. You poor turtle bastard. We gotta find a base around here. We gotta find the Gaming Evolved crew and where they have set up camp. That'll do it. Let's make it even easier and spawn in at Fertile Lake 1. We only have to get to Fertile Lake 2 which is that direction from where we started. Let's give that a try. And we are back in. Survival gameplay at its finest. I know that's what you came to me for. Don't worry guys, with a little time we will get into some building. We will build a base. How lucky did I just get? Did I just stumble on the whole place? We will build a base. We will find a spot to call home. I wonder who that is. I wonder who that is. Hello person. That is a person, and they waved back. I think I'm safe to go down there. Let's turn on the HUD, we'll figure out who it is. I didn't want to join voice chat. There's a bunch of people sitting in voice chat and I didn't want to join them, but we found home. I might join them now. Who is this? The Bearded Kitty. Accept invitation to tribe, ba-boom. We did it. Look at Bearded Kitty and his figure. Amazing, get out, get out of here, you mole rat freak. But yay go, Bearded Kitty invited me. That's all we need to do. I'm excited, but we need to get a little set up and I need to figure out if this is BK's joint or if this is the whole team community center. Okay, simple communication. The rest of GE is further down the shore. In this direction? So I believe the GE camp to be a little bit further up shore in that direction. To get there, we're going to go up this way and we will continue this death run. We got to be there. So I noticed this rock from BK's place, and it seemed like this was the next logical spot up the shoreline. Let's see if this is the rock I'm thinking of. All right, so I think BK was on the other side of that big vertical pillar. Let's work our way up at least to this one. We'll see if we can spot them even further up the shore. Now, he told me to be very careful up here. I know to be very careful. I'm, I'm going to die. I've died many, many times, guys. I will be showing you the best of those moments, but you, you absolutely... 100% missed some. A man can run in circles, can he? That's BK's place right there. Okay, guys, I have moved on from BK's place. I am now part of the tribe, so if we die, we could respawn in a bed. Let's get a little water. And avoid your sprinting. That's what you got to be very careful with that. Don't sprint too much. But we have to find our way. Man, they are. they must be close. They must be close. I'm working my way up the shore, guys. I'm working my way. And I see my deaths around here, so I know we've been close before. Let's keep going. Shoreline. Follow the shoreline. Further up. That's what BK said. Trust BK. Tell me about it. I see tames. I see creatures. I see green writing. I see home. Guys, slow and steady. We did it. And we died quite a bit over the course of the episode and accomplished a next to nothing. But I made it here to the GE camp. And I have been playing for a little while. Once I got to camp, I got myself a little bit set up, guys. I'm on the cusp of level 15, and together we're going to go see just how difficult this game is. Uh, I am getting back a day later, and I'm putting in some time. I'm ready to play. I want to see just how hard the DLC is, and I want to go try and do a bunch of stuff for ourselves. So I don't plan on using all the stuff here at the GE camp, uh, unless we need to. We will see. And I want to go see about uh, gearing ourselves up. The next thing I need to do is get some hide. I haven't killed anything yet. Uh, we need to eat meat and stop eating mushrooms, and I need to get... Oh, no. If you guys aren't familiar with this, these are the psychedelic mushrooms. I think one of these can heal me. Eat every mushroom you got in your inventory. Maybe something will heal you up. Oh, we did it. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Alright, that took a bunch of our health, guys. So, my plan is just to go find us some dodos to kill them for hide to level up and, and get some better gear. That's what I was going to show you. This is my new old man character, by the way. The old hermit. 
white beard. So my plan for now, I don't, I can't get the haircuts yet. My plan for now is to get, uh, that's a really high level dodo. The max is 150 on this server, so you'll see multiples of 10. Yeah, okay, so let's talk. I want the shine horn or I want the feather light. This thing, already old news. But we're gonna tame one, maybe, just cause it's nearby. And uh, we gotta get ourselves a little bit of hide here first. So let's go ahead and take this poor dodo. It's kind of cool. This is a whole new thing they're doing, uh, wild card. It's like a whole new game, really, guys. I mean, everything you tame, yeah, they're gonna have some classics. They're gonna have a, a slight variation on a stego or a diplo. But it's a new game, really. There's new items, new objects. It's not a dinosaur game anymore. It's a sci-fi game. There's some dinosaurs here, but they're doing they're doing something cool with this DLC. And so we might as well tame something from the DLC. Episode 1 ought to have something cool in the thumbnail. And I don't know about this guy, though. A little green one makes him look really froggish. I might look around and see if we can do a little better at level 65. And uh, we can get ourselves set up now with... And Oh, let's double check. I think it's these... If I find the new plant species Z, I think it's called, Z, pardon, Canadian, uh, put taming food in the last slot. So it ain't this one. It might be this one, though. One of these mushrooms, yes, will do the trick. We're not going to bother yet with that guy. We're going to see if we can do better. Let me see what I can now craft for myself. We can do this. We can do this. I don't rush to get the shirt. I think I look better without it. Frankly, the shirt can wait. Uh, and we will set out and see if there's another bulb dog in the neighborhood. And uh, I will keep gathering stuff up. I think I'm going to get myself going with the basics, campfire, etc., etc. And uh, I will show you. I'm going to build a house here eventually. We haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I wonder where we look for bulb dogs. I think along the coastline is smart. But let's try the coastline in the other direction and see if we can track down a bee dog. Lantern pug, I think they're also called. Uh, and stay away from those dang mushrooms, I tell you what. Uh, okay. Let's go looking for, let's go looking for a little dog. We will find one. Ooh, let's check this out together, guys. I think. Yes. I, uh, I know all I need is a little bit more hide. I didn't grab enough yet for the spyglass. I think you need about ten. But we're gonna go get that. I'll make sure I got enough crystal. I can come back here for more anytime. But let's go get ourselves a little more hide. We can make a spyglass. The more I think about it, the time to look for bulb dogs or any little shoulder creature is at night, isn't it? If you think about it, when they're, they're glowing. But I'll see what I can find. We'll wander along the shore together. Okay, guys, I got enough hide for a spyglass. I'm kind of cornered in here. There's a ravager that's been killing me like crazy, but I got my stuff back, and we can put this on the hotbar. Perfect. And we're looking for a better glow pug, and I noticed there are several down here. I don't know where that ravager is gone, though. There you go. At least you can see him from a long ways away. So yeah, level 135. He is not to be trifled with at my level, but we're going to have to tame one of those. Level 5. I feel powerful now that I have this. Okay, that Ravager is out of sight. I think we're safe to come check this out. Which one of you guys was level 5? Level 5. Come on, level 150. Tell me. 35. Crap. Alright, I'm going to keep looking. Colder... Colder, colder, colder. Wrong direction. You go in the wrong direction. There's clearly none around here. If you haven't seen one in this long, turn back and go the other way. Oh, giant crabs? Hotter, hotter, hotter. Yeah, you're almost right by the giant crabs. Keep going this way, idiot. There's a glow pug here, right? Bob dog? Hey, buddy. Well, I'm certainly not swimming out there. There's nothing even over there. More wasteland. Where's the crab? Oh, I see him. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> Jeez. Guys, I went so far that way. Nothing. Wasteland. Except for a couple of big crabs. It was horrific. So what we need to... Why do I sink when I get in the water? That is so weird. When you first get in the water, you sink. Is that just me? It's a weird thing that's been happening. Somewhere around here was the spot right up there. It's the spot that I kept getting slaughtered. Uh, I figured if I kept going along the shoreline, I would find me a glow pug. A bulb dog. But the search will continue. Uh, it just may not be the most efficient way to do it. I mean... How, how hard is it to go around a shoreline when you now have a spyglass and you could probably build 
A raft. Use your brain, idiot. Why have we not thought of this yet? Oh, we're not high enough level. Let's level up. I'm getting my butt kicked out here by the aberration map raptors right now. But there's a ravager up there that was ruining my day earlier. I just hit the level I need to hit. We are now level 16. Let's do this. Now maybe I can sneak past them. I need to go get all of these resources. I don't think I have anywhere near what I need yet. No, so I'm gonna gather a lot more hide, some wood, and some fiber. And in the process, I may end up back home, but I am gonna gather up what we need for a raft. And we are gonna scour the shores of this lake for a shoulder pet. And we'll do it from a raft. Don't fall in love yet. This one is far too low level. Uh, but we're ready, guys. We are ready to go on an expedition. This is my hermit hole, and inside it uh, is some of my valuable stuff. I just went down to the water and placed a raft for us, and we are going to take the rest of this. Uh, and guess what we have included in our inventory here? Green gems and crystal. You get them up there. I showed you earlier when we mined it. You can use those to make a new thing, to make a glow stick. And you actually get five glow sticks, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, and glow sticks are fantastic. That's one down there, you can huck them. And I guess you can hold them in your hand. It doesn't really work right now. Uh, I mean, that kind of works, but I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look. I mean, that looks okay, but I really don't know if that's how it's supposed to look. Uh, but yeah, you can huck them. You can throw them across the ground and you can throw them out into the water. And that's what I did to light my way to our raft. That's right guys, we have been looking and we were gonna settle for a, 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 why do I call it a glow pug? Oh my God. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Ooh, aberrant mega piranha. Good Lord. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Why, yeah, why settle for a glow pug? Which, <laughs> AKA a bulb dog. I'm not gonna settle for a low level creature. Why settle for the most common of shoulder pets? Let's go looking guys. It's nighttime. We have a boat and I think with the spyglass We're going to be able to spot the little glow pets from shore assuming that my glow stick ever Runs out and all I have to do is keep safe from spinos and crabs. Oh my gosh. Oh, these crabs are the new lead Zichthus. Good lord, that's scary. I've been all around the damn lake, guys, and I haven't seen anything. But I know that this is the direction of the unknown. This is the direction of uh, the more strange and foreign looking creatures. This is where, uh, when I was looking around initially around this map, I saw uh, the Shinehorn. And I want a Shinehorn. I do. But I would take a Featherlight. And a glow tail at this point would be even delightful. Hell, a glow pug, whatever it's called, bulb dog, higher than level 65, would be a sweet deal. So let's risk it. And let's do this. I was preparing for an expedition inland. Leave the raft, put down a sleeping bag, leave a little uh, glow stick, and come inland and see if you can find a feather light or a shine horn or some shoulder pet and I found a base somebody has beaten me out here someone else wants to get close to the edge and it's Jim Bob uh, who uh, I have done stuff with on GE in the past but sadly I looked around he's only got a hideous little glow pug but he also has a raptor and I think that would be smart he called it best I could find level 100 I really do think that would be smart because I, I look around here with the old spyglass guys and it is raptor country. Uh, and I think if we are gonna continue the expedition and look for uh, a glow pug of our own, we might want to tame maybe that guy. Uh, we, we, we need a shoulder pet. We need something aberrant and not just a standard old uh, arc dino. So maybe the raptor, maybe it's time for the raptor. I believe we are ready for that. Raptor saddle, okay. So I'm gonna unlock that. I didn't think I was ready for it yet, guys, but I think I think it's time to get taming. So over on my boat, I'm going to put down a few of the basics as opposed to using Jim Bob's stuff. And we're going to prepare to see if we can tame a raptor. It shouldn't be too hard. I think I can handle it. Um, 
you're getting to see me attempting survival in this series, guys. I hope you enjoy. Uh, it's a little stressful. Uh, so we're going to go down to the raft. I'm going to get uh, preparing some narcotics and probably a bunch more bolas. And I might even get myself some better armor. It'll give me an excuse to step away from you guys. But I did want to make sure I showed you this. Nope. So this is the new wooden elevator. Quite cool. Uh, but uh, maybe not working yet. Which is also why I want to show you the new portable ladder. Check it out. Yeah? Uh-huh. So I'm going to set up on this little raft. Uh, uh, do, do a little bit of basics. I'm not going to do too much. And we are going to see if we can get ourselves a raptor and go inland in search of a shoulder pet. Speed is key. Speed has kept me alive throughout today's video. Uh, and a raptor gives us speed. I am entirely prepped. I have a saddle. I have everything. But I'm wandering further and further from my boat in search of actually a raptor. And that is not even our goal for today. The raptor is secondary. The raptor's only purpose is to get us to a shoulder pet. I found another bulb dog level 70. That's the best thing I've found. A hundred bulb dogs. None above level 70. I ain't settling for that. I'm not. Are you the bulb dog of my dreams? Tell me. Level. Higher than 70. God dang it. They ain't no high level shoulder pets. They don't exist. Alright guys, I have ventured very, very far. So I set out today realizing everyone had bulb dogs. And nobody seemed to have any of the other shoulder pads. Maybe we get out here. Maybe we go on a voyage. Maybe we find a better shoulder pet. And then, honestly, I would have settled for any fricked up bulb dog. And we couldn't find one. And then uh, I went, let's tame a raptor. I see a decent level raptor. We'll have the mobility to get where we want to go. Another piece of crap. Another piece of crap. Come on, bulb dogs. There's one. They're all so low level. Tell me, tell me, <gasps> we did it, yeah right, and look at the color, okay, okay, it is a run of the mill bulb dog, but I think, I think that's a winner, screw the raptor, okay guys, so the plant Z or Z seed is like kibble for these guys, and I imagine people will be bummed that I'm not using that to tame him, because he's a high, highest possible level, but these mushrooms also work, and I think they'll work fairly quickly. And I mean, we're not going to get all the levels out of them we can, but we should do well. How many? Oh, you're so cute. All right, we're going to need a bunch more mushrooms. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be my pet. One more mushroom, and we are going to be best friends. You're going to love me forever? You're going to love me forever. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh my god, guys, check it out. Ooh. And look at that charge go up. Okay, we're gonna get him fully charged, I guess, by being right here. By being near the charge point. Did I need to come here the whole time? Is it charge points that attract bulb dogs? Glow pugs? Let's take a look at the stats. So he came out level 223. That is an additional 73 levels. I wonder how much better you would do with kibble. That's crazy. And look at the color on... On her. Somebody gonna want to breed this together with the other ones. I think she's pretty great. So, uh, you can turn on her flashlight ability. No more glow sticks for us. And she is so cute. Alright, and I need to get her home safe. I need to get her back to safety. Look at where I am. Home is way, way far away. We got a long journey. A long, long journey to make. Okay. Okay. We accomplished... Oh, crap. Okay. Level 5? Okay, we can handle this. We can handle this, and we'll tame a raptor at the end of it as well. Eat this mushroom. Don't pass out. And kill this thing. Level 5. Easy. Easy. And then we'll go back for the raptor. Okay. I need to eat these mushrooms. They are going to keep me alive. Oh, I'm going to need some water in my system, though. Oh, no. No. What? 
Bob Dog killed the Palmino Scorpus. You saved my life. Bob Dogs can kill? Don't let that raptor come along. Wake up. There's the raptor. Come on. Come on, Bob Dog can't save me from this. Stay away. Stay away. Kill him. No, Bob Dog, no. Bob Dog, no. Bob Dog, no. Come on. Don't give me that death message. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Sorry, Axe Man, I left your door open. Where's my Bob Dog? Where's my Bob Dog? Close this. Bob Dog. Where's my Bob Dog at? No way. No way. Lead him away from the Bob Dog. No Bob Dog. Don't attack him. You can't kill this. Lead him away. Lead him away. Lead him away. Lead him away. Give up. Give up. We did it. Oh. You are amazing. You are amazing. You killed a raptor and a scorpion to save me. Thank God I didn't make you kill that ravager. Good lord. Guys, it's a long and arduous journey home, I told you. He killed that. Killed that and he saved my life. I love him so much. Let's get some water and avoid dying, please. I can't believe this bulb dog. I gotta get her home safe. She is special. She is a rare breed. A warrior. A fighter. A devastator. Of a tiny little bulb dog. I spent the whole episode saying I didn't want a bulb dog. And now I love her so much. It's not over yet. As soon as this thing gets free, I'm in trouble. Oh. Coming back for more? This bulb dog is not going to ever make it out of here safe. Another bulb dog is taking the hit for us. It's getting ravaged as we speak. No. Yeah, that's right. Okay. No more bolas. Can't make a new bola. Kill this, please. Kill this. Kill it, dude. Die. For the life of my bulb dog. Let's run. No. No. Not again. No. It's dead. It's gotta die. How can it possibly live? Damn it! Tragedy. That was a special creature. Guys, what am I gonna do? I spent so many hours playing today. So many. That was the most perfect bulb dog ever. You think I care how long this episode is? You think I care that it's over 30 minutes? No. I asked for a thousand likes, and I don't go home empty-handed. I don't fail in a video in which I made such an outrageous demand. I come back for more. I persevere. I find another bulb dog. Yeah, she's not as pretty as her sister. Yeah, she's a lower level. But I ain't going home empty-handed, and I will persevere even if it means taming this little beauty and watching her get torn bulb from tongue, limb from limb, by a pack of ravagers like her sister. No, no. I ain't quitting. I ain't giving up. You are going to be mine, and we are going home today with a shoulder pet like I promised. We did it. We did it. 37 fewer levels.
and she ain't turquoise. But whatever name you were going to pick for her sister, pick for this one. And guys, I will come back to you when I am safely back at camp with this dog, ready to call it an episode. There you go. This is it. This is your new home. What do you think? You miss your sister? Does this thing remind you of your sister because it's blue? Do you remember what happened to your sister? Yeah, she got torn to bits by Ravagers. But you're here. You made it. And I love you. And that means we persevered. That means we are home. I may only have a hermit hole, but I put in a lot of levels and a lot of time today, guys, and I leveled up. And I set a simple goal and accomplished it. I came back with a, a shoulder pet. Not the high level one I wanted, and yes, it's green and boring like the first bullfrog thing we looked at, but we got her. My god, you're so ugly. <laughs> so ugly. I'm dis really disappointed that the one that I found, the perfect one, died, but she will do, and it means that I didn't give up on today's episode or today's goal. I'll tell you what, why don't you stay here, and guys, I will let you go. This is going to be the end of our episode. Thank you so much for joining me today, Arc Aberration Episode 1. I will be back tomorrow. Maybe we build a house. Maybe we try to continue to tame things. I don't know how delightful that was for you. It was a hell of a day for me. If we do a build, I got a cool build in mind. And we do need a house here. So maybe that is the way to go. Maybe that is the way to go. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm UTC, and I'll be back in your life with the next episode of Aberration.